Addiction took it over the life of a great man I'm falling down, can't stick to the laid plans Here I go again, another day has started Can't escape the reach of the demon, this is the hardest Prescription filled my addiction, I've lost, where's the target? Everything I own, I've sold or I pawned it Sitting all alone, maybe this is what I wanted Haunted by the demons, I'm gone, my mind is wandering I'm pondered, trying to remember just where my heart is I lost it, somewhere along the lines of hardship Thought it would have singled and it went to the dub now I got no money cause I spent it on a Take it back in time to when I was a kid If I had another chance, swear I wouldn't do this Beast Mode Volume 37 Everybody make some fucking noise! Beast Mode! I am your host Chris Kane You can follow me on Twitter and Instagram at Johnny Jibs That's J-O-N-N-Y-J-I-B-B-Z Follow us on YouTube at www.youtube.com slash Beast Mode Battles, also Beast Mode Battles Gold. Don't forget to rate, subscribe, comment. My, my champ, co-host. What up, it's Reality Northern Mind. It catches across country this summer. Check out Naughty North ENT and Razor Sharp Visions on Facebook for details. Mob, I got with you, Joe. Okay, yo, we got a crazy battle about to pop off. No further ado, gentlemen to my left, introduce yourself. Trey Trey, 902, that's it. Shout out to this kid in his faggot shirt. <laughs> <laughs> And Balor to my right, introduce yourself. It's Icon. My shirt's better than his. Look at that thing. Fashion, fashion battle. Okay, yo, we didn't even have to flip a coin here. Um, Trey Trey decided he's gonna go first, so when he's ready, it's on him. First order of business, forget his intro. Allow me to present my case to you. He's not an icon. He's just a faggot dude who couldn't make it through ground zero and now he's only headed down and he knows. He can take the truth. <laughs> At least I hope you can, cause the simple fact that I'm facing you is blatant proof that you ain't improved. You need to make some moves. I think Icon is the wrong name for you. You should maybe change it to something crazy like, I don't know, give me less famous dudes. <laughs> but whatever you do, Please just stop the talking, fam. I promise you're not the man. I'm about to make this whole battle more awkward than that time that you choked all three rounds on awkward Dan. <laughs> you can find me in a hostile land with lots of sand, but it's not Iran. Masked up down to Russia like Kazakhstan, and it is real when I punch lines through that promised land. Be <laughs> honest, man. You could. Come across burners, I'm strapped with two K's like I lost my clan and two blades in a black bag like a racist ass hockey fan. Ooh, you get lost in translation. This fucking guy must be high. I'm not hating, but it's either that or geez, this cat must have like took this battle just to try to come and fucking die. But with a life like yours, of course, I don't even need to wonder why it's justified. It's a cold world and even your girl won't let you come inside. <laughs> See, the battles, I bring chaos and theories. No butterflies. You bring angles like Siri. I'll cut your lines. I'm aggressive. I stay tilted towards sun like it's summertime and I control you. That means I put your lines under mine. Get it? Control you, that's underlined. Mm. Fuck you, time. <laughs> time? That's round one on Trey Trey. Everybody make some fucking noise! Oh. Round one on Icon when he's ready. Can you explain something? See, I used to be a clumsy waiter. You know, like, spill shit and just walk away. I played basketball since a kid. I got that three point shot for days. I knocked out dudes bigger than you. I guess what I'm trying to say is that it ain't gonna take shit for me to drop this tray. <laughs> I'd have this motherfucker leaning like the Rockaway when I hit him with a hook like Dr. J. And I'ma make this count like Boxing Day. This next scheme's gonna be a low blow, no Johnny Cage. <laughs> but speaking of nuts, I heard that you were in a psych ward locked for weeks because you've gone all tweaked. Damn, that's actually really sad. Not to me. 
<laughs> Maybe you should stop just being a fucking soccer creep and acting all Compton streets and more blood than Saw 3D. Because I seen you standing in your pics with your red bandana doing this. What? You hit the psych ward and all of a sudden you're as gangster as it gets because the jackets with the clips that they wrapped you in legit had you standing there like this? <laughs> Man, this dude's a bitch. Quit yapping nonsense. I swear this was a slap battle from all that smack you talking. You said in this ring you'd come and knock my ass unconscious if I walked up to you when I tapped your pockets. <laughs> you tapped your pockets. <laughs> Quit acting raw, bitch. You're a massive phony. Check this shit. He said this shit against Jam Zavoni. He said, after this battle, you're going to have to blow me for that $200 in cash you owe me. What the fuck? <laughs> I mean, that sounds like some gay prostitute shit. You got some kind of weird disorder? It's ironic, he's 7-Eleven, and for Slurpees, you can find him on the corner. I mean, guy, that isn't normal. I mean, I feel like knocking you the fuck out. I bet you hated the straight jacket, but you had no problem with the nut house. <laughs> I mean, and your clothes look like they're from the dollar store. I mean, I think I win just, that made me truly win. I mean, everything about you doesn't have to be from the loony bin. <laughs> Time this round one. Everybody make some fucking noise! No. Bro, to our tray tray when he's ready, let's go! Man, I'm gonna have to fuck you up just to prove a point. That's okay, I'll rearrange Icon to show he's a bit of a useless coin getting passed away, put him in a crypt. Old currency, he'll lose his coin in half a day and with all the 16s he's bit, he's already got less coins than Mario hooked on crack cocaine. <laughs> and. I don't want to say you're a clone, but your baby face and facial hair combination alone have basically shown that you look like Pat Stan Sharon's baby, but grown. <laughs> no? Okay, well, maybe an 80-year-old faggoty Roan who isn't worth it, but whose skin is perfect because for 60 years you've been making your own facial cologne. <laughs> Fucking faggot ass guy who's fucking on <laughs> a speedboat. Go eat toast, you cheapo. <laughs> I'm surprised you'd even try me in beast mode instead of KOTD, though, considering here it's actually based on lines, making it the only place in the GTA that's designed without cheat codes. <laughs> but yo, yo, check me out. I'm Icon on the beast mode page. Yo, I'm headed to T.O. Anyone know where I can find some decent wings? Uh, what? <laughs> What the fuck are you talking about? This ain't Urban Spoon, you suburban goon. <laughs> you just lucky some black guy didn't see that post and come fucking murder you. <laughs> Time for this round. That's round two on Trey Trey. Everybody make some fucking noise! No. Round two on Kid Icon when he's ready. Let's go, man. So I noticed something about you. They had me like, oh wow. I noticed one of your insecurities that you have, and I know now that this will bug the fuck out of you. And I'm gonna put you on blast for this whole crowd, and I'll give you 10 bucks. If you could take off that hat for a whole round. <laughs> I don't want to leave it off for, you. for your round. Fuck. Right? <laughs> 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 Keep talking, better talk like that. Yeah. <laughs> you put on that hat to hide that hairline five years ago. Never removed it again. So selling out your own forehead and hairline is what you do for a 10. Just imagine the snitch type of shit that you would do to your friends just to save himself from time he'd have to do in the pen. Oh. But he ain't no criminal. He ain't violent or popping guns. But his hairline's like a fugitive. He hides it because it's on the run. <laughs> I mean, he's embarrassed of his appearance, so he just sits on his computer and chats. His hairline got him all types of pissed off. That's why he's using those caps. <laughs> I mean, it's, I mean, it's, it's kind of stupid in fact. I mean, I need to admit, my hairline even started receding a bit. 
But your hairline, it ain't even decent a bit. I mean, why is it leaving like this? <laughs> Do you treat it like shit? <laughs> Oh my god. I mean, I mean, this year it's right here, but it'd be doing this. It's almost more embarrassing than these weak little sticks. I mean, you're skinny, but you're fat. You got these weak little tits. I mean, your hair's like your muscles that barely even exist. I mean, your hairline is receded as shit. Your forehead looking like you're trying to become a fridge. <laughs> I mean, I ain't even got a punchline to this scheme I just spit. I'm just trying to make you hate yourself until you bleed from the wrist. No, I mean, maybe that was too deep just a bit. But the fact is, my friend, that you can have a better flow, better rhymes, whatever you have to to win. But if tearing down your opponent is what a battle is, then I think I won. Because I don't you ever take that hat off again. <laughs> Time? That's round two! Everybody miss a fucking no! Oh. Round three on this kid train train when he's ready, let's go, guys! As an opening statement, I should let you all know you're approaching the Matrix. I'll try to smith bars to compensate, but I won't be an agent. You need to grow to be patient like Morpheus ages, and I could try to help you slow it down, but no, you can't be Neo. Please don't be a faggot. <laughs> you're always fucking up my shit just by being in here. You fucking stupid piece of shit, you look like Dr. Evil, the pair. <laughs> you don't fucking do any. Uh, <laughs> um, so you got a tiny buzz and now you're trying to bluff. But I'm going to correct it, because you know what you remind me of? Fucking all 90 members of Sky Dome Collective. <laughs> I mean, am I lying? You're basically just ATG's doppelganger with proper manners. <laughs> well, Thank you. I'm, I'm, welcome. But I'm sorry, B. Honestly, you just don't got the balls to be the prophet. G, iconic, please. Your name represents theocracy, but ironically, you don't want to read the prophecy, so I just give you the business forecast like Thomas Lee. Fag, you're more of a wannabe god MC than fucking Ptolemy writing poems about Greek mythology. <laughs> You're a knob gobbling geek, a prodigy. No one ever even had to teach you sodomy. You've just always been great at giving brains, so I changed my mind. You should switch your name to be Lobotomy. <laughs> <laughs> fucking time. Time? That's round three. Everybody make some fucking noise! <laughs> oh, round three on Icon, he's ready. Let's go. See, I tried to diss your body shape. But it was a shitty fucking task, because it doesn't make no sense. You're really skinny, but you're fat. I mean, you're really into science. Have you figured out the math and who's to blame for all these shitty ass genetics that you have? But it ain't his biological family. They sparked the connection, the laws of attraction brought them together. See, they're perfect together. And they fought through like everything, but I'll bang them on your science table just to fuck up your chemistry. Oh. She said you're hung like a centipede. She's totally deprived. She said banging him's about as fun as fucking poking a beehive. And you wear Adidas every battle. I mean, homie, that seems fine and makes sense because you're both only known of three lines. I mean, and this joke little geek tried to do a verse about the universe. <laughs> but for real, I mean, your planet didn't truly work. So this ain't stolen or bit just cause you used the first. I'm just proving that I'm light years beyond you with words. And if you ain't down to earth and start lipping and talking, then you better get your asteroids or just sit there and comment. Cause I can have you seeing stars from your chin when I rock it. One punch, will, one punch will shut down your solar system, then it's mission accomplished. You try to pick up a broad that lives on Milky Way and Mars bars. <laughs> he thinks his Mac game out of this world, and it's tighter than an arm bar. But she just want him outer space, so she told him some next lie, like, nah, I got no number. And she on her Galaxy S5. But he was proud that he just tried. But that has not really mattered, because he wanted in that black hole, but alone just drove off in his Saturn. And like Pluto, this dog's fake. But I'm done snapping his neck. I just sunned you with your own game. I hope gravity's next. Woo! Time? That's the battle? Everybody make some fucking noise! 
Beast Mode Volume 37, after the battle, just had a good battle between Icon and Trey J. Uh, I'm Chris Kane. Yo, it's Gosh and the Don. You can follow me on Twitter and Instagram at that Smoke Show 420 And my other host, yep, Tech, from behind the camera, do the judging chair, Lime Lizzle, at the role model, Twitter. Okay, yo, we just had a battle between Trey J and Icon. I'll start off with uh, Gosh and the Don. Uh, I thought this was a good battle still. Um, they both seemed a little slower to me than usual. Like, Trey J was kind of like taking his time and shit. So I gave Icon the first round because I thought he had a lot more punches, better reaction and stuff like that. The second round, again, was kind of the same. Like, it seemed like they weren't getting off like usual. But I gave Trey J the second round because he had, a, he, I think he had a couple way better punches in that one. And there was more reaction to them. And then the third, they both kind of like were dragging a bit. But I just think Icon had better bars in the third round. So I edged it two to one for Icon. Okay, and yo, um, it was a good battle. Uh, I thought both of these guys got brought their A game. A little bit, little bit of slips here and there, but that's that happens. Um, wasn't bad. Uh, I gave the first round to Icon. I thought that his um, aggression in the battle was a little bit better in that round than uh, Trey J's, and I thought he had a few more bars, a few more punches than he did. And uh, I gave the second round to Trey J. I felt I felt like Icon second round. He had a little bit of a slips, and I felt like Trey J had a really really solid round. And I gave the third round to Icon, so I gave it two one to Icon. Uh, I thought it was a good battle. I think uh, for Trey J, you could uh, to improve. Just a suggestion. Um, instead of having like I know that you like to do those bars where you're like kind of like scratching your head and stuff. But sometimes people think that you're stumbling, even when you're not. And I know it's whatever, but if you, I feel like if you were a little bit more aggressive with the bars you can construct and write, you'd be dope as fuck. Icon, um, <clears throat> I feel like you could be a little bit more direct at times, because certain punches you throw, you throw a really good one, and you'll start like kind of laughing at your own punch in your mind. I can kind of see it myself, but in your mind. And... Um, You'll kind of, on your next punch, kind of be looking at the ground a little bit. I think if you were just fully aggressive the whole time, uh, you'd do a good job. And I, I, I think I heard maybe one or two bars that I thought I heard before. But uh, I'm not saying that I, they, they weren't changed or whatever, or made your own, constructed your own way. Um, okay. Uh, yeah, I agree with these two over here. I had a 2-1 icon. The first round, I think, was the closest round, in my opinion. Um, I had the first round for Icon just by a little bit. Second round, I had Trey J a little bit. Um, the, the whole hat scheme head thing was cool, but it, it kind of dragged on a little bit. And I, I think uh, um, um, Trey J won that round. And then the third round, I think uh, Icon was able to pull that out. It was a dope battle. You guys are both really good. What I noticed, too, kind of to touch on what uh, Weez was saying was... For uh, Trey J, for me, I think Trey J, it seems like you need to, not that you're not serious, but it just, you have really good bars, but sometimes, I think it le you need to, like, have a little bit more of an aggressive approach, um, not, and it might not have to be, like, aggressive, like, rah-rah aggressive, but just, like, a little bit more oomph in it, and, uh, kind of the same thing for Icon, too, I think Icon's bars are really, really good, too, he, you know, the, no wonder he got the comparison to, uh, SDC, I think that was a comparison in one of the, the lines or something like that. I hope I'm right on that. But, uh, yeah, no, I think uh, you're really dope, too. But you could get, have a little bit of oomph, too. But otherwise than that, you guys are both definitely dope. Um, but I think 2-1 Icon. That's the battle. Uh, your winner is Icon. It was a dope battle. Uh, leave comments. Let us know what you thought. Subscribe. Also subscribe to Beast Mode Battles Gold. Y'all guys just keep supporting what we're doing. The movement's not going to fucking stop at all. No fucking questions.